Democrat, Republican? Republican. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. Well, then you're probably not going to disagree. I do disagree. Okay. I think it's really bad um, precedent to set that we think the major news publication that disagrees with our president, we label them as fake news, we don't listen to the other side. I think it's really detrimental to a country where you block freedom of the press from disagreeing with the president. I think if every outlet was like Fox News and really liked the president or just conservative criticism of the president, it would be bad for our democracy. I think it would be, it's better to have these disagreeing publications so that we hear this other side. I completely agree with everything you've just said. No. I don't disagree with any of it. <laughs> I, that's why I think calling them fake news is a bad thing. But they are fake news. How are they fake news? They fabricate news. They make it up. Like, they lie. Like what? They just listed a bunch of examples, but here's one. So how do you go through, for example, saying Donald Trump knew about the Trump Tower meetings beforehand, right? Mm -hmm. And you're being fed this by Lanny Davis, mm -hmm. okay? And say it comes from an anonymous source and then put in your story that Lanny Davis declined to comment when he is your source. He is the person who was the source for the story. Mm -hmm. You are proactively citing an anonymous source that you know to be Lanny Davis, who you said isn't commenting on the story. I, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of that goes into like protecting witnesses to stories and stuff like that. So I think that's like a certain. It was completely unsubstantiated. And they mentioned Lanny Davis in the story. Like Lanny Davis, by the way, refused to comment. Well, who gave you the story? Anonymous. What, what, you mean Lanny? You mean Lanny Davis? They didn't cite that he was the person that gave them the information. No, they said it was anonymous. Said... And then they said, by the way, Lanny Davis declined to comment. It was Lanny Davis was the, he was the source. I, do, I understand protecting anonymity though. I, well, not when it's always anonymous. Not when it's Donald Trump's pissing on Russian prostitutes. Anonymous. Not when it's, well, this Russia collusion, which we know if you mm -hmm. work with a Republican is proven to be one of the biggest hoaxes of all time. Constantly proven false, proven false, having to retract it, people having to resign in disgrace. And the problem here now is it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have people out there, 40% of Americans who believe that Donald Trump colluded with Russia when we know definitively that he didn't. I think that there is maybe a bias in CNN that goes, or there definitely is a bias that goes to the left in CNN, sure. but that same thing is true on the right and the same problems happen on the right. I think you could just as easily stand out here with Fox News or Fox News is fake news. I don't Or something so. like that. I don't think so. I really, I really don't think so. I don't have a problem with someone who's far left and uh, p promoting it as opinion. I don't have a problem with someone who's far right. So for example, I have the same problem with Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity that I have with Rachel Maddow and Chris Matthews and Lawrence O'Donnell, which is none. I have no problem with any of them. Mm -hmm. I, I have a problem with people who present themselves as though they are the arbiters of news or objectivity, mm -hmm. and that's what CNN has done for a very long time. That's my issue with them. I mean, Fox News' slogan until last year was fair and balanced. The radio side. And by the way, their news, though, their news is significantly more fair and balanced. There's a difference between the opinion side. So, for example, Fox News is really clear in separating the Bill O'Reilly's, the Sean Hannity's, the Tucker Carlson's of the world from, say, you know, Shep Smith, who's yeah. a center-leftist gay guy, right? Or Judge Napolitano, who's a diehard libertarian. You know, they have Donna Brazil over there now. Whereas when you look at the host at CNN, Don Lemon, you look at uh, Anderson Cooper, you look at Chris Cuomo for crying out loud, and they present it as though it's news, that's my issue. And it is, to me, always remarkable that the stories that, okay, we can say fabrication occurs on any news network, um, always seems to tar and feather and uh, be an attempt to undermine the legitimacy of our sitting president. I mean, you do have to acknowledge that when they get it wrong, they always get it wrong in a way that if it stuck would be very harmful to the president. Yeah, definitely. But yeah. I think that an important thing to notice about all those examples that you did, and those are good examples that you should be pointing out, that they retracted them, that they did their best to go against and say, oh, this was wrong. I think that undermines them being well, They didn't until they were caught. They didn't until they were caught. That's how most people function. Uh, most news. Well, I don't, okay, function. fine, but I don't give them credit. I don't give anyone credit for once they're caught having to issue a retraction. I think a retraction is plenty credit, but I also, because Fox News, I'm sure, has had retractions that they've had to wait for people to call out. Sure. I think a lot, they got a lot of things about Benghazi, a little bit off, they had to retract. Um, but a little bit off, but, but Brian Stelter, I, I his entire like show was Russia. <laughs> Right? That, come on, you know this. CNN, I, I, yeah. their entire lineup was Russia, yes. which was all false. But there was a all lot of things sources. that we didn't know about Russia, that it was good that there so was this agency up. looking into or just speculating. That's a good thing. <laughs> just If someone I mean, says, I'm speculating, fine. But if someone says, we're delivering the news, mm -hmm. that's a problem. Like Jesse Smollett, if they said, we're speculating, that's not what Brian Stelter and Brooke Baldwin went out and did. They talked about it being this horrendous hate crime, that this is a sign of rising hate crimes across the United States of America. After the Jesse Smollett hoax was revealed, Brian Stelter said, well, I guess we'll never know what happened that faithful evening. Like, my issue here is when you do have, uh, obviously we're using the term fake news because President mm -hmm. Trump uses it, but they fight back and say we're legitimate news. Mm -hmm. They're not. I think that they do do things 
I think they have a legitimate purpose in our democracy. That's what I don't think. I think they get a lot of things wrong, and I think it's great that you are calling them out, or that people on the right are calling them out. But I just think calling them fake news, and I, 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 that's what I want to know what your end goal is of calling them fake news. Is it to get them not watch? Is it to get them shut no, down? No, no, is I, it to get President Trump to do something towards them? No, and that's a very fair question. As a matter of fact, anyone here who watches my show, they know that I say bookmark Huffington Post, Salon, uh, Slate, CNN. That's all I read. I tell people always know what the opposition is, is, mm-hmm. is telling you. You yeah. should be informed. Um, but I include CNN among that group. Mm-hmm. I include CNN among a left-wing activist group not news, especially, by the way, when they're trying to shut down other news channels, especially, by the way, when they're trying to shut down YouTube, independent YouTube channels, and they abuse the systems with false copyrights. And they, by the way, are the ones who coined the term fake news, trying to talk about Republicans, right? Mm-hmm. I had been hit with the fake news moniker for something that was entirely accurate. This is actually a twist. A lot of people don't remember. Fake news was a term invented by the left. And then Donald Trump said, OK, well, you want to talk about fake news? And went down, the, just went through the laundry list of all the fake fabrications from CNN. So my problem is not with someone being left. My problem is not with, but being dishonest about it. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.